Hello, my name is Mrs. Pennington and I am the math instructor at Apology Online Academy and today I'm going to be answering a lot of questions that I get um, about my math classes, how they're structured, how they flow, what it's like to be in an online classroom and more. So it doesn't matter if you are planning on taking pre-algebra, algebra 1, algebra 2, geometry, pre-calculus, um, I'm going to answer your questions all the same for all of those courses. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first question that I'm going to answer is how is your class structured? What is it like to be in the live classroom? Um, how, how do I get my assignments and things like that? So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so this right here is called Canvas. And so when you sign up to take a class with me, um, you will be added to what we call Canvas. I usually add you to this around August. So you'll be getting an e a welcome email from me um, and all of the instruction on how to be added to Canvas. And so this is kind of like our college blackboard. If you've ever heard of that, this is kind of like our dashboard for the class. And so this is just an example. This is Algebra 1 from 2019 to 2020. Again, just an example. And this is what it's going to look like for you guys. So recent announcements, anything that I need you guys to know is going to be up here. Then you're going to be able to scroll down and this is just kind of the course information. Right here is where you would click to go to the live classroom. So whatever um, days and times you're taking, that would be a link right there that would take you to that. But then this is what's important. These are called mod modules and each week a new module will, will appear. And what I like about this is they've broken, they're broken down. So at the top you're going to have your recordings. So after the class is over with the live class, the recording will be posted about five minutes later. And so that that's where you could go back and watch the recordings. If you're a recorded student, this is where the recordings will be. Then right here, you're going to have assignments. If you click on assignments, this is going to break down everything that you have due for the week. So there will be the date that's due, what you need to read, what you need to study, etc. And so that's under assignments. And each week you're going to have assignments. And so um, if we go down to week 35 here and I click on assignments, this is more what it's going to look like. And so you're going to, again, what, you're, what you need to read, when it's due, um, the homework assignments, the problems that you have assigned, and any participation quizzes and chapter exams that you have due will be there also. And here is going to be any quizzes that you have. And so, for example, here is your homework assignment quiz, your participation point quiz, a chapter 13 exam. So if I were to click on that, that would take you to the exam. And so this is what it's going to look like. Your instructions for the exams here, um, how many points is due, questions, etc. will be there. And then if you click on take the quiz, it will bring you to, it's being a little bit slow, but each question. And so then you would just solve each question and put the answer there. And so that's how your quizzes would look. Um, okay, so now that you've seen our Canvas dashboard, let's go ahead and look at what it's like to be in the live classroom. What the so, Adobe Connect classroom is going to look like when you sign in. So up here you are going to be able to see me. Here is going to be the whiteboard with any announcements that I have to make at first. You're going to have a chat board where you're able to chat with the other students and ask any questions along the way and this is just um, an attendees pod. And so then what happens is I make all of my announcements and we uh, pray before we start class and we talk just a little bit before we get started. And then what happens is I actually go and I flip my camera. So I wanted to show you what that looks like. So let me just um, record here just a little bit. So what I do is I actually flip my camera and I work on a piece of paper. I like to do this because the students are able to see me work the problems out step by step as I explain them. And so I work and I explain all different concepts along the way and I work problems that look a lot like the problems that you're going to see in your homework assignments and that you're going to see on the quizzes. After the live class, the recordings are are available about five minutes afterwards on the canvas place where I showed you. Okay so, so now that we've went over what canvas looks like and what the live classroom through Adobe Connect looks like let's go ahead and talk about some frequently asked questions that I get a lot about my math classes. So the first question I get is about how much homework do my student have to do or does my student have to do a week and so I assign from the book about 10 to 15 questions per day um, per section and we do about four to six sections a week so it's about 10 to 15 questions per day so the next question that I get a lot is well how do you grade do you give any partial credit or any um, or do you just do a yes or no like a right or a wrong answer and the answer to that is I absolutely do do <laughs> 
partial credit. So um, you are required to submit your shown work to me, and that's going to be all the steps that you um, took to get to the answer uh, to the problem. And I go through and I look at all of those steps that you took, and a lot of times if the student got the question wrong, maybe it's just because they maybe added something wrong along the way or multiplied something or just a small mistake. If that's the case, I usually will give you almost full credit for the um, problem. It depends on the mistake. If it was just a tiny, tiny, tiny mistake, I usually just go ahead and give you full credit. Um, if there were a couple mistakes along the way, you'll get, you know, partial credit. But yes, I absolutely believe in partial credit and I will be given partial credit, credit for these classes. The next question I get is how available are you going to be during the class? And so I am very ava available. If you have questions during the class, um, definitely during the live class, I'm right there to help. But if you have questions throughout the week, you can always email me and I try to get back to with my students within 12 hours. I try to get back right away, but sometimes that doesn't happen, just to be honest. And so I'm very available. You can always email me and I will definitely get back with you as soon as possible. Sometimes students have questions and I am available to make um, another video if I need to. Sometimes they'll say, I just cannot get this question um, on their homework assignment. And so I will make a separate little video and send it to them to explain the question. So anything that you have, you can always come to me with it and I am very available to help you. Okay, so that is all. I hope that this answered some of your questions about math, um, the math courses that I offer through Apology Online Academy, and I hope to see you this year.